guys, welcome back. It's another episode of Try This, Not That. Well, I've already talked with you guys before about deodorants and done a whole episode on Try This, Not That with Young Living's deodorant. And basically, I will put a link to that down in the description box below. But today we're gonna to talk about the difference between the two deodorants that Young Living has. Mountain Mint and Meadow Mist, and these are the two. So if you want to know the difference between the two, this is the video for you. Okay, I get this question a lot. I'm gonna order one of Young Living's deodorants and I haven't tried them before. Which one um, do you recommend? Which one do you like better? Which one should I get? Which one am I gonna like? What do they smell like? Well, I'm gonna answer those questions today and basically spell it out. What is the difference between the two deodorants from Young Living? Now, to be honest, I actually had those exact same questions when I first signed up and I decided I was gonna order one too and I thought, well, which one should I get? Well, I got lots of suggestions online from different Facebook groups and I just put the question out there and I actually ordered the Meadow Mist first and then when this one ran out, I went ahead and I ordered Mountain Mint and when this one's gonna run out, I actually ordered Meadow Mist again. So this is my second Meadow Mist. So here are the ingredients that are inside of them. They both have coconut oil, they both have beeswax, and uh, vitamin E, pure esters, zinc oxide. Those are the same ingredients. Okay, what does Young Living's website say about these? Young Living says that it's the first natural deodorant with therapeutic grade essential oils. Woohoo, we're the first ones to have it. Um, it's free of propylene, glycol, and toxic aluminum salts. They recommend three to four strokes and um, do not dis expose to heat or sunlight. I'm sure that it might melt. <laughs> and then also um, to keep out of reach of children because it's a deodorant. You don't want them eating that. <laughs> now, what is the difference between the two? The essential oils. Okay, so let's start first with the Meadow Mist. The essential oils that is in this is lemon, coriander, ylang-ylang, bergamot, rosemary, lavender, melaleuca, and clove. Sorry, I was looking down at my notes to make sure I didn't miss any of those. And that's what this one smells like. If I had to describe it, peaceful. I don't really smell more one more than another. Maybe it's ylang-ylang. It's just nice, <laughs> I really do like it. All right, now if we're gonna talk about the Mountain Mint, here it is. The essential oils that's in this one is clove, lemon, peppermint, rosemary, eucalyptus, and white fur. And if I smell this one, the very first thing I smell is peppermint, and then I can also smell that white fur in there. And I like those. Funny story with this one. Now I had been using Meadow Mist first, and then when I switched over to the Mountain Mint, I went to the office and I'm driving to you know to the office and I'm turning the wheel and I'm like I kept smelling this whiff of mint and I thought what is that <laughs> I got to the office I'm walking around and I'm like I keep smelling peppermint and then finally hello <laughs> clued in it was the deodorant so it definitely made me smell cool and fresh now one question I do get with these deodorants because it's not an antiperspirant it's a deodorant is they do not stop you from sweating um, it doesn't keep the sweat inside and trapped inside. So I only use these, well I use these every day. If I'm gonna to go to a very fancy special occasion and I don't wanna be sweating through my gar garment at all and it's gonna be a hot sweaty place, I actually pick something up that probably isn't the best for me but it's an antiperspirant. So these are awesome on a day-to-day -day basis where, you know, I'm gonna smell fresh, they do their job, I love them, this is my own personal recommendation. Do I have a favorite between the two? Actually, no, surprisingly, I don't. I started with this one, went to this one, and I'll probably go back to this one when this is all gone. So I hope you try them out. I hope that helps clarify the difference between the two, really minty and really calming. That's the best way I can describe the two of them. All right, well, I thought for sure I would have chosen one over the other as my favorite, and I, d I haven't. I really like them both, so I think I'm just gonna swap once one is out. I'll go back to the other. Uh, I would love to hear in the comment section below which one's your favorite, if you've tried Young Living's deodorant, <laughs> or are you a mountain mint gal or guy? Which one is your favorite? Now, retail, if you're gonna buy these just outright from the website without signing up as a wholesale member, they're 14, 47 a, uh, a deodorant, which is a little bit pricey. 
Now you do get 24% off when you sign up as a wholesale member. I have the link down in the description box below if you wanna do that. And um, you get them for 11 bucks and I love them. All right guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you tomorrow for Tasty Treat Friday. All right, bye.